During the years following the end of World War II, Italy witnessed a rise of communism. As is widely known, the communist worldview is at odds with religion, making it of course incompatible with Catholicism. However, occasionally, even the most ardent communists receive the unexpected grace of faith. Stay tuned to hear the story. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts, five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. And now to our story. Today's story is sourced from an article written by Jose Carlos Zamboni, available on the website Opus Mater Dei. In this article, we discover a remarkable story about Savino Greco, a communist from the city of Cerignola in southern Italy. Now, as often the case with communists, Savino was an ardent atheist. However, everything changed when he was suddenly struck by a deadly disease. But before delving into this transformative moment, let's take a step back and get to know Savino a little better. In the years immediately following the Second World War, Savino Greco became well known in southern Italy for his political activism. He was considered a representative of the working class, a leader in the fight against social injustice and economic inequality. He was initially inspired by a fellow townsman, Giuseppe di Vittorio, a member of the Italian Socialist Party and later a member of Parliament. However, Savino considered Giuseppe too soft, not enough Marxist. You see, unlike Giuseppe, Savino wanted to follow Marx's theories to the letter. He hated the church and saw every form of religion as a tool used by the ruling class to maintain control over the working class. As you all certainly know, Marx saw religion as an opiate of the masses, something that distracted people from their exploitation by offering false promises of reward in the afterlife. Well, in 1950, at the peak of his political career, Savino fell seriously ill. The doctors discovered he had a brain tumor. Suddenly, atheism lost all its charm. In his own words, I was taken to the hospital in Bari. I was very afraid of illness and death. It was this fear that gave rise to the desire in my soul to turn to God something I hadn't done since I was a child. This reminds me of the saying, there are no atheists in the trenches. Well, soon after, he was transferred for surgery to a hospital in Milan, where the doctors explained that the operation would be extremely difficult and the outcome uncertain. Little did he know that change was on the rise. One night, as he lay in the hospital bed, Savino had a dream where he saw Padre Pio. He recalls, Padre Pio came to touch my head, and I heard him say, you will see that with time you will heal. The next morning, Savino felt remarkably better. While the doctors were astonished by his rapid improvement, they still deemed the surgery necessary. However, overwhelmed by fear, Savino fled the hospital just before the scheduled operation and sought refuge in his relative's home in Milan, where his wife also resided. After a few days, however, the pains returned with greater intensity, and, unable to endure any longer, Savino returned to the hospital. He shared, the doctors, angry, did not want to take care of me anymore. Then, their professional conscience prevailed. But before proceeding with the operation, they subjected me to further tests. And at the end of these tests, to their great surprise, they noticed that there was no longer any trace of the tumors. Furthermore, he recounted, 
I was surprised too. Not so much by what the doctors told me, but because while they were conducting tests on me, I smelled an intense scent of violets. And I knew that this fragrance signaled the presence of Padre Pio. When Savino was discharged from the hospital, he requested the bill from the doctor. You don't owe me anything, the doctor replied. I did nothing to heal you. Upon returning home, Savino expressed his desire to visit San Giovanni Rotondo to thank Padre Pio, whom he believed was responsible for his healing. However, upon arriving at the convent, he was suddenly overcome by excruciating pain and fainted. He was then carried by two men to Padre Pio's confessional. Upon regaining consciousness and seeing Padre Pio, Savino pleaded, I have five children and I am very ill. Save me, Padre, save my life. To this, Padre Pio replied, I am not God. I am not even Jesus Christ. I am a priest like all the others, perhaps even less. I do not perform miracles. Please, Padre Pio, save me, Savino begged, crying. Padre Pio remained silent for a moment, then raised his eyes to heaven and Savino saw his lips move in prayer. At that moment, he noticed the scent of violets. Go home and pray, Padre Pio said. I will pray for you. You will heal. Savino returned home, and from then on, every symptom of illness disappeared. The former atheist was healed in body and spirit. This brings to mind the words of the great saint Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience attains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God suffices. End of story. Now, if you enjoyed today's story, some time ago I created another video about the conversion of an ardent communist. It is titled, I will return more of a communist than before. Conversion of a military leader by Saint Padre Pio. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend giving it a view. You can find a link in the description below. And let us always remember to pray for the conversion of sinners, especially those who hate God and his church. Thank you for listening. Please do like and share this video to help our channel grow. And please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Potter Pio stories or our playlist of Potter Pio thoughts for the day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You'll find a link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.